and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Today's video is brought to you by RhinoTech, and this is the follow-up video to the heavy-duty pressure washer videos that we did in the past with RhinoTech. Um, we did one at the trade show which showed you the pressure washer a little bit and then I did one here in the shop and I showed you the pressure washer really close up and now today we're actually going to test it out. So I have it installed in the back I'm going to show you a little bit about how I have it installed and the kind of setup I have for it. This is the Rhino Clean uh, or Rhino Spray, I forget what their trademark name is for it, but it's the um, 1500A model heavy duty pressure washer, okay, and it's a 1450 PSI, right, is that it, uh, pressure washer. Okay, so we're going to move the camera around and go on over to the washout booth and check it out. So let's go. Okay, so currently I have the pressure washer on the floor right next to the washout booth. And what I'd like to do in the future is actually get a little table of sorts and raise it up to waist level so that when I want to turn the pressure washer on and off as I'm working, I don't have to lean down or bend over to the floor. So that's something you want to consider because this particular pressure washer does not have an auto off switch. So um, it will remain running as a pressure washer while the power is engaged, okay? And it's very quiet, so that's pretty cool. But you'll definitely want to be able to get to the switch easily to be able to turn it on and off. Here is a quick look at the innards of how my pressure washer and water hose, or my garden hose, is connected. And in my shop, in the bowels of the shop, we have a water tap, a spigot, basically cold water, coming off into the washout area. And what I did was is I attached a splitter. As you can see there, there's a splitter that splits the line off into two. The green hose goes to the garden hose spray nozzle and it's just regular garden hose pressure. The line that goes off of the bottom, and it's, a, it's the black line, that line goes to the pressure washer. Okay, so this is something you might want to do, especially with this type of pressure washer where um, you know, the water flow through the pressure washer when it's off may not be as desirable as standard household pressure off of a garden hose with a spray nozzle for washing out your screens. Because remember, we don't wash out screens with a pressure washer. We use a garden hose. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the two nozzles in the washout sink. Okay, so we end up with two hoses at the washout booth. One is the green hose with the spray nozzle, and that's just standard household tap water pressure, cold water, coming off of the splitter that I just showed you. And then the other line here is the pressure washer uh, spray gun, the, the gun. And that's attached to the pressure washer, which is attached to the second line off of that splitter. Okay, so I end up with two hoses in my washout booth. And um, remember, the reason for that is, is because I'm going to use the garden hose with the spray nozzle to wash out screens. The pressure washer gun will be used to reclaim and dehaze screens only. Alright, so here we are at the washout booth, and I already have the pressure washer turned on, remember, because it does not have an auto off switch. So that's why I mentioned earlier that I may raise the pressure washer up on a table so that I can just reach over that way next to the washout booth and switch it on and off, okay? And you'll note that the pressure washer is actually very quiet compared to most of the homeowner's units that I've used in the past, okay? So remember, we've got the garden hose running off of the splitter with the green line, okay? So this is garden hose pressure. This is what I would use to wash out screens, right? Um, for this job, we're reclaiming, so I can wet the screen down with this hose. Okay, so the screen's wet down. And now, for, for reclaiming, for stencil removing and haze removing, we're going to want to use the pressure washer. So this is the RhinoTech um, model 1500A. It's a 1450 PSI pressure washer, like I said earlier. Okay, this is the gun. All the parts are replaceable. You know, a lot of the parts are replaceable and the, and the unit's repairable, so it's very cool. Okay, the, the nozzle on the gun has a fan, so you can turn it and it'll thin or spread out the spray. You know what I'm saying? So as you turn it, it'll either be wide, flat, or pinpoint. Okay, so that's a pretty cool feature. All right, and I'm ready to test it out, right? Oh, another thing I want to note, 
make sure that you have your pressure washer on an electrical outlet that is basically dedicated for the pressure washer because um, especially at home you know on a 15 amp breaker uh, you know if you run a pressure washer and some other things it's likely to trip so uh, having a dedicated outlet is a good idea so today I'm going to use a little bit of Rhino Tech ERG 8550L emulsion removing chemical emulsion remover remember this is the green line from Rhino Tech that's safe for septic systems and all that stuff remember okay you can get it from Rhino Tech at a 5% discount using the cat's pit code okay so I'm going to get some of this on here I'm going to use my brush I'm going to try to stay out of the way of the shots so you can see this. So it's a little awkward for me. Okay. There we go. That stuff's already starting to work. It's good stuff. Okay, so. Um, remember that when we reclaim, most of the emulsion is on the substrate side, right? So we're going to push it through from the inkwell side. But today, because the RhinoTech RhinoClean RhinoTech RhinoClean ERG 8550L emulsion remover <laughs> is working really good. So that's cool. So let's do this pressure washing, shall we? This thing's awesome. Remember, the closer you have the gun to the screen, the higher the pressure is. The farther away you have the gun to the screen, the less the pressure is. And I also might add that the Rhino Spray Heavy Duty Pressure Washer Model 1500A has a pressure adjustment on the unit itself. I have mine maxed out because I like, I want the most pressure, but you can actually adjust the pressure on this unit, it's pretty cool. Here's the fanning uh, thing, let's see if you can see this, okay? There's a pinpoint, and then the fan. Very cool, very good for getting out trouble spots. You send it to the pinpoint. And look at that, it's pushing my screen around. This is really nice. I like that fanning ability. Now that's a pressure washer, baby. So that's my review on the Rhino Spray Model 1500A heavy duty pressure washer from RhinoTech. And I really like it. I think it's a great pressure washer. It's not the type of pressure washer that I would recommend for screen printers who are working at home and only, you know, maybe use a pressure washer once a month or a couple of times a year. Uh, a homeowner's unit would probably be fine for that. But for those of us who reclaim screens on a daily basis or a weekly basis, several times a week, uh, a pressure washer like this one that I showed you in this video would be a lot wiser choice because it's going to last you a lifetime and it's repairable. If anything does break, there, the parts that are working and functioning are all repairable. It's pretty much repairable and you can have it fixed. So this unit will last you a lifetime with proper care and maintenance and, uh, you know, not dropping it out of your truck when you move and stuff like that. This thing will last you forever and it works great. I really love the fan function on the gun. That's awesome because that allows you to pinpoint your pressure for hard trouble spots and then the fan for when you're getting really easy, you know, big wide space, take down big strips of emulsion at one time. You know what I'm saying? Couple passes and your screen's done. So having that little fan on the gun is very cool. All right, so two thumbs up for this pressure washer. I love it. It's good stuff. 
Okay, don't forget, Rhino Tech is a participant in the Cat's Pit Productions Screen Print Supplies Program on the Cat's Pit Productions website. You can get 5% off your Rhino Tech products when you use the Cat's Pit code. I believe it is Cat's Pit 511. You take that code and go to the Rhino Tech website, put it in, 5% off. Voila! All right, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like what you see, please, please, please rate thumbs up, comment below, and most importantly, subscribe. I need your support to keep going. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time. So, there you have it. The Rhino Tech Rhino Splay, Splay, Splay uh, is a good choice because it's going to last, 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 last.